get it. Drop in. Woo. Lens is dirty. Okay, today we are in Seattle. We are at Gasworks Park. I have Andrew and Alec with me. We're just hanging out. Unfortunately, Andrew got here a couple of days ago and I just got up to Seattle today, so I wasn't able to get a bunch of behind the scenes of them shooting a video, but we are just kind of chilling, hanging out today. I'm gonna talk to Andrew a little bit about what he does to prepare for yo-yo contests, probably get some food. We just went to Dutch Bros, feeling good. Life is good. He flies out tomorrow and then Mark will be here in a couple of days. So I'm just gonna chill for a few days and shoot some photos and hang out. And then Mark will be here and we're gonna do a ton of video work with him and Alec, which is gonna be awesome. But as for today, we're just chilling. So like in general, when you're preparing for a contest, like three months out or however long out, like what do you what do you do? Well, I guess the time frame always varies just because of like school or if I'm working. But the first step for me, regardless of the time frame, is I guess simultaneously practice my tricks, think about what changes I want to make to, from my last freestyle to this freestyle, and at the same time um, look for a song. I don't know, I'm very particular about the song just because it's hard to find a song that's dynamic and that also carries this fast-paced tempo that really kind of draws in the crowd or is good to yo-yo too. So that could take, that could be very easy or that could take months, weeks, days, not that order. So I do that and once I find the song, I edit the song um, with my tricks and freestyle structure in mind. And then I guess piece by piece, um, I put my tricks to the song. And once I have a routine, I just kind of practice the routine. And it could just be a draft of a routine and then it'll be completely different by the contest time, yeah. or I'll just make one or two changes, and I kind of just drill the routine after that, and just yo-yo normally, maybe practice my tricks um, on the side. I like to just kind of run them off, um, because it gets the muscle memory down for the routine, Right. and I guess as I get closer to the contest, it's more about, I try to focus more on, I guess perfection, but a really making sure my tricks are spot on to the music, um, like the tempo, the beats, like the cues. And I guess I try to think about how I look when I'm doing the trick. I guess not like how I look, but how the trick looks. And to make sure that I'm executing the trick how I want to execute the trick and how it's meant to be. Right. Um, because sometimes when I'm going too fast or going too fast or going too slow, the trick doesn't really look the way I want it to look. Right. Um, so it's very important for me to figure out how I want it to look and then maybe mess with the song or mess with the trick, maybe take a part out to slow it down, right. whatever. Do you ever use any funky tricks like yo-yoing in front of a mirror or anything like that? Do you like record your trick and then watch I it? Do, I do record my trick and watch it, um, but lately, I feel like this is always the problem, but I never have enough space on my phone. Yeah. So, <laughs> because of that... Gotta upgrade one, that iCloud, dog. Yeah, for whatever reason. <laughs> I, uh, it's normally like mirror, but I do try to record some things on my okay. phone. So I'll record the freestyle, maybe record a trick or two. Um, I really like to listen to the music without the tricks too. Yeah. Especially in the beginning stages, um, because sometimes I'll like slow the song down or speed the song up. Right. Um, just so I can get the tempo right. Pick your and spots. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so the speed of the trick is on point. Nice. Um, when I practice, when I do exactly what I said I do, I feel very prepared, um, I'm comfortable on stage, um, but other times, like if school, because sometimes there'll be a few contests where like, I'm prepared, but I needed to like draft a new routine right before the competition, or I just didn't get to practice it as much as I wanted to because of school. Right. Um, and in that case, I get very nervous just because I know that it's not my best or not, like I'm not as prepared as I could be. Right. And in that sense, that's normally where all my nerves come from, I guess, after competing for so many years. Yeah. Now, and I mean, I've been on stage since like 2011 or stuff, so um, it's definitely kind of just a routine now. Yeah. But my nerves normally come from not being prepared. <laughs> and it varies by freestyle too, so like, one freestyle, everything might align perfectly or you're really content with like the first draft and it just feels really good. And other times it's like, you'll draft a routine and it just, it's too hard or you're yo-yoing too fast or you right. need to take stuff out. And that's, those are the times where it's really hard to get it down um, because it's hard to take something out. Like once you have a draft of the routine and you just have too many tricks in it, it's hard to slim that down. And I don't know, because you don't want to take stuff out because you've, 
you might think that every piece of that routine or piece of that trick is vital to the routine. Right. Um, I think it was a character and whatnot. But those are often the times where I'm kind of in my head and I just don't get as prepared as I want to be because I'm stubborn and don't want to take something out. Right. So. Word. Appears. I just said I forgot to text back because I was shooting yesterday. Likely story. <laughs> I, kept, I kept trying to text him, but he said no. Should I not have your super secret prototype? No, no, you should show it. <laughs> yeah, we probably should probably show it. Soon right? I mean, they put in the order, I think. So, uh, Andrew, what's this return top you're playing? Travels, have fun in Arizona. I will. Say hi to Gentry. Of course. realized that I need to explain what we're doing. A couple of days ago on Saturday, Andrew took off and went to Phoenix to go travel to BAC with Ben and Gentry. I went back down to Portland for a day, but I came back up yesterday and spent the night again in the peninsula. And today I met up with Mark and Alec and we're shooting a video for Mark. And we have a whole concept in mind. It involves car lights and neon and all sorts of crazy cool stuff that Alec has all figured out and he's got it in his head. But unfortunately, the location that we wanted to shoot at isn't covered, and tonight it's pouring down rain. So, we're now in downtown Seattle. We're down in Chinatown, and we're looking for a spot to just kind of shoot some clips and some test stuff in case the actual idea for the video doesn't turn out exactly as we wanted to, or we don't have time to shoot it before we leave for the contest. We're trying to get some extra footage, some test footage, and see um, if it's gonna look like what we wanted to do. So that's what we're doing tonight. We're walking around downtown, hanging out, just having a good time, maybe get some food in a little bit, and playing with cameras. You got a few feet, you can come back a little further. Right there is fine. It's gonna make a big difference. 
we're back. So tonight, it isn't raining as bad at all, actually. So we are actually able to do the video idea that we had. We are in the middle of a movie theater parking lot that has some really cool neon on it. And the, the video idea just heavily uses lighting, kind of. And so we have Alex's car rigged up with a club on the, the brake to keep it on. The brake lights are providing light from one side. We've got the light panel on Alex's camera for another source of light. And then we've got the super cool purple from the movie theater. And it's just gonna make like multi-directional three-point lighting, which can be really cool. And then Mark's gonna throw down a bunch of tricks and we're gonna film all the extra stuff after that. And then I think we're set. <laughs> So we just finished filming the actual trick parts of the video, and now we're kind of doing the extras and stuff. We, well, Alec and Mark just ran into the movie theater, and they're gonna film um, the intro sequence of him walking out and everything. And I'm waiting here with Alec's car, and I am going to be the brake manager, meaning that when we do a countdown, as soon as they walk out, I have to put my foot on the brake to splash everything with red light, and Alec's gonna flip on the blue light at the same time. It's gonna look awesome. I'm really excited to see how this video turns out because I think it's going to be different than anything that Caribou Lodge has ever made. It's going to be super cool. So I'm just waiting on them to pop out and film that first kind of take. Hopefully we get the lights just right because um, the movie theater, I don't think that they really like us filming in there, unfortunately. But for now, I'm just waiting, chilling, waiting for them to pop out. And then um, once we're done with this shot, I think we've got a wrap for the video. And it's back to Alex's house for a night of editing and hanging out and making yo-yo tricks. And then tomorrow we leave for the airport. And we'll be in San Jose by early evening. It's going to be great. Here they come. Rock and roll.